Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're already existing, guys, and you haven't subbed, please consider subbing. Or if you're new and you fancy a sub as well, please do. It's completely free to do so. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be alerted when any of my videos get uploaded. We've got a really big home bargains Christmas haul coming up now um, I'm so excited I have been buying bits from there for like a few years and I thought that they're amazing every year for Christmas well actually the bits that I got this year have trumped every Christmas I think they're just beautiful so I'm going to show you and some of the bits I picked up are actually very similar to bits that I put in my anthropology basket you know the, the wish baskets the stuff that you'll never buy yourself because it's so expensive but you do a wish basket anyway um so now I can take it out of the wish basket because Obviously, these bits are very similar. So I've got a Pepsi in my Emma Bridgewater mug. Grab yourselves a cut, nice cup of tea. And yeah, I'm going to get into the video. Let's not forget, I've made the effort here, guys. We've gone Christmas out in Christmas clothes. Don't say that I don't put no effort in. <laughs> I'm going to go around that school for pickup time. And people are going to be like, what is actually going on with her? I was going to wear a Christmas tree headband as well. And I thought, slow down, slow down. That can start, I don't know. December the 1st, but November, I've got a tree up. I've got a lot of stuff going on. Not my main tree, and I'm showing you Christmas stuff, but I thought I'd dress up for it as well. So anyway, I'm gonna sip my drink, and then we're gonna get in, I'll show you what we got. So the first thing I picked up is one of my favorite bits. Now this is 5.99 in there, and I thought it might be a little bit like the ceramic pumpkin, so I better show you quickly. Um, so it's this lovely, lovely gingerbread house cookie jar. It is absolutely adorable. It's ceramic and it's such a nice size as well. You're going to get a lot of biscuits in here, but it's not too massive. I find some of them are really big. They've got a beautiful one in Asda for about £12, but I just wouldn't find the space for it. It's quite large. Um, so obviously, if you can't find these in there, head to Asda though, because they've got very similar bits like this, even a teapot like this. Um, but I thought this was gorgeous with the little colours. It's got a little tree, gingerbread man. And I'm just going to have all little cookies in it because I'm going to do a hot drink station over there and I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some like little biscuits that are in packets like little gingerbread ones um biscoffees to give to people when they're having a nice hot chocolate um, and I thought that was really really cute so I got that and keeping on the theme of ceramics I also picked up this mug gift set this is beautiful and this could be a gift for somebody look how beautiful it's got like little like 3D trees on it in the ceramic. Now this comes in a set. I picked this up purposely for the mug. They had the most gorgeous mugs in there like Santa, elves, um, snowmen. They were absolutely gorgeous. They are a lot nicer than the ones I got from the pound shop last year. But because they're very similar to the ones I got from the pound shop last year, I just thought it's a bit wasteful. So I didn't get them, but I got myself this one. It does come though with a little milk hot chocolate. Yeah, a little hot chocolate mix and some fluffy glittery red socks. This was 3 99 so this would be really good for a secret Santa or for a gift for somebody. You could put it in with PJs and slippers and make a little hamper um, with this. 3 99 so good. I am going to be having this. I'll put the socks on now to go with my outfit and I am going to use this mug. I thought it's really classy looking. I'd have paid more than 3 99 just for the mug. But they have got some really beautiful ones in there. Like I said, I just don't want to be wasteful and just get basically slightly better versions of the ones that I've already got and um, so as well we have got Christmas candles on the go I have got a lot of Christmas scents going on in the house already but when I saw this I thought this looked really like different it's all lilac on the front it didn't really look like a Christmas candle very posh though I will just say all of these candles from Home Bargains I actually keep these glass jars with the lids once they burn down because you can use them to put like little spices in if you want in your kitchen or blah blah, blah. I normally use them in the bathroom or like put makeup your bits in them like cotton buds and stuff um, but this was 2 99 and the smell of it is beautiful so it's called fluffy marshmallow and what I really like about it is it's so different scent to the normal Christmas smells it's got that festive smell but it's really sweet but in, not in a sickly way it's really nice I don't know what the size is but it is a two wick candle <laughs> Got that and I did actually get some more top-ups of my mulled wine and clementine spice so the ones I've got going on at the moment are from last year any ones that sort of haven't run out or ones I've got left over I just save them for the year after in my little utility room 
Um, but I've got them out early and then I thought I'd get some refills because there's nothing nicer than smelling festive in the house, is there? So I've got the Airwick um, refills. These are the, do you know the ones that you put the batteries in? It sprays a little spray of air freshener every now and again and it just really does make it smell really nice indoors. They do two packs of these and they are £4.49 for a pack of two of those. And I also got the same set in the Airwick, the little plug-in ones as well. And these were two ninety. no, were they two ninety nine? Airwick plug-in. £4.49, yeah, two ninety nine. these ones were. So I thought they were really good as well and they smell lovely. And what really normally is good, they normally have the little scratch bit on them so you can sniff them. Haven't got the sticker on this one. They smell amazing. They just make your house smell like Christmas. When anyone comes in, they go, oh, it smells like Christmas. But that's the idea, guys. So I also got in there some little socks for the kids. So these are gonna be going in their Christmas Eve bags. These are only 99p and they're slipper socks. These would be good little gifts as well, but they've got like the little grippers with little stars on the bottom. So I've got both the boys a size 12 to three. So like size 13, I've got loads of sizes in there and different patterns, but I've got both of them the little elf ones, the lovely and thick as well. So they're fluffy inside. No, just like a cotton, but they're really nice and thick. And I also picked up for Millie, I got her the little blue snowman ones, which I thought just really, really adorable. So I got them for 99p, you can't go wrong really, can you? For some Christmas socks, especially in places like Next and stuff, they're quite expensive. So 99p for those. Also as well, this is probably the most important thing of the whole haul, cheapest thing probably as well, 99p. They do the same one every single year for the Christmas planner. They don't change it up, which is a bit annoying. You think they change the cover, but it's really, really handy. It's 99p. It comes with a little pocket bit here with like Christmas notes you can pop in your handbag. Um, put your name, your contact number if you use it and stuff, because it might have important like things on it. Um, but who you've got to get cards for, presents, plans for the month in here, check them off, additional notes. But what's really good is food and drinks. You can write it down there, Christmas meal, Boxing Day meal, snacks. It has loads of different sections in there. If you can hear baby Albert in the background, he's just staring about, grunting. He's just making lots of noise. He's quite a noisy baby. Um, so this one says it is a season for planning. They do have one for 99p in there as well, but it isn't the Home Bargains one. It's a Tatty Teddy one. Um, if you remember the brand Tatty Teddy and it's got like a red cover on it. 99p, can't really go wrong with that. For years I bought the Kath Kitson one for £20 and actually it had far less sections than that one does. So I've got that one and it's a lot smaller and more convenient to pop in your bag if you want to. So now I picked up a few bits for the North Pole breakfast. Now, the North Pole breakfast is a day what we do at home. It's basically on the 1st of December. My mum always used to do it with us, but not on the sort of scale that I do it on. We just used to be able to have like a cheeky breakfast. So like basically cereals that the kids pick up that I say, no, they are full of sugar. You know, like the bright coloured, really bad ones. Um, so we'll have them on the table. Uh, naughty elves come. So they'll be on the table and they bring this breakfast for the children. We'll have like colouring in tablecloths. They'll do loads of crafts. And the story behind it is, is because it's normally a day in. So we'll try and do it on December the 1st. If not, it'll be like the Sunday before or just after. Um, tend to be before. And the reason we do it is because we're a family of now six and it's a really lovely day. So we like to do loads of days out with the children. But actually, I know a lot of people might think this is a bit extra. A lot of money to keep just spending on random stuff. Kids get enough. I wanted to explain it because... Actually, I spend far less on doing a special fun-filled activity day indoors with the North Pole breakfast. It's like a whole day of activities. Um, and it costs a lot less than if we went somewhere else, like a soft play activity, which we do do, but it's nice to mix it up and have some days indoors as well. Nice snuggly days in our PJs. Or we might go for a walk and a bike ride on the evening of the North Pole breakfast. But we've got loads of crafts and stuff here that they'll do through the day as well. One of them being a gingerbread house. That will be the day we always do the gingerbread house as well. They've got these in home bargains for 4 dollars um, and it comes with everything you need. So the sweet decorations, ready-made icing, gingerbread shapes, and the instructions. It also doesn't say, but it comes with this white base and it holds up the actual um, gingerbread biscuits, which is really handy because it doesn't fall over. They make this one every year and they absolutely love it. Um, and to be honest, I think if we didn't do a gingerbread house on the North Pole breakfast day, I think they'd be like, Mum, what? where's the gingerbread house? Because um, <laughs> we're so used to doing it. It's like a tradition now. So I've got that. And I also picked up in the theme of gingerbread. 
got these. So for $1.99, it's a make your own gingerbread man kit. It comes yet again with the candy beads, cutter, icing sugar, and the ready-made mix. And this was $1.99. This would be a really good gift to give to someone, you know, like or with a, like a Christmas apron or something, Secret Santa again. And um, but while the kids are doing their gingerbread, I'll be baking some of these. Millie likes to help me so we can bake some gingerbread and some cupcakes as well. These are really handy to have in the cupboard, really simple, ready-made together. You can just pop it out and it's an activity to do on a rainy, cold, miserable day over Christmas time. Some of the activities that I've picked up for them um, to do on that day are these. So these are $1.99. They've got a lot of these sort of things in there, like make your own garlands and bunting and stuff. Um, but because I tend to do this kind of thing, like I've done one for Halloween where they made a lot of felt decorations, I thought I'd do some like painting ones this year um, for Christmas. So these are $1.99 and these are paint your own hanging decorations. And you get a packet of four and it comes with different coloured paints. Um, so we've got loads of paints here anyway and paint brushes and I just thought I'll get one packet so then we can all set up the table, me and the three kids, and we can just paint a little ornament each um, because we're going to be doing so many other activities on that day and then they can hang them on their trees if they want to. Um, so that's really good. You don't always have to buy these kits for one individual child. If you've got a few children at home, you can buy a kit and you can all just do one. Um, you don't have to just go ridiculous on it. So the other painting activity that they've got is paint by number kits. So these are also $1.99 and I've got the kids one each. Um, so they do different designs. So I've got Millie the unicorn and fairy one. It makes two of the uh, paint by number pictures. It comes with all the paint and the paintbrush yet again. Um, I've got this one. I've got the dinosaur one for Alfie. So it's all like dinosaur ones. And then Archie, I've got the Santa Land one where you can like paint all the Santa stuff. These are so cute. And when you look up close, they're just so pretty. They're like so well packaged. They just look really, really cute. You definitely could like make kiddie presents with these. These would be good little kid presents for kids as well. $1.99, you can't really go wrong for that. Another thing I picked up as well in there for the North Pole breakfast is we always have crackers, but I thought it'd be really cute to have these. Now these really look like, there's a website called Merry Merry and they do like lots of really beautiful, quite expensive sort of like party accessories like plates, cups and crackers, that sort of stuff. But these are really good. So these are $4.99 and these are six hand finished Christmas crackers and they've just come with a random cards, tape measure, little toys and stuff. But how pretty are they? And they love pulling a cracker, my kids. They absolutely love it. So you get Santa, a penguin, snowman, reindeer, elf and a gingerbread man. And I just thought they were really, really cute. So we're gonna put them out on the table as well. I have got a colouring in um, tablecloth as well, which we will do. I can't remember where I got that from. I think I might have got that from the pound shop, um, like from Poundland. So I'll get that out if I do. I've got a Poundland haul coming up, so it might even be in that bag. I can't really remember. I buy so many Christmassy bits to put away and I forget. Um, so in there, just to let you know, they have um, Christmas pinatas. So like the little boxes that you can like with a stick that you fill up with sweets and they whack. Um, they've got Santa ones in there. They didn't have none in my local store, otherwise I would have got one. Um, I think they're about £5.99. I see them all on Instagram. Um, and then, also as well, <laughs> he makes me laugh, the noises he makes. Um, also as well, they've got balloon arches. So they do like the pastel ones through the year, but now they've got the Christmas ones and they've got like red and white candy canes. They're really beautiful and they're 5 99 So you can really go out and have a really Christmas party if you want. But I've got this, you can either use this for a Christmas party or an office party, whatever you want. I'm gonna do it for the North Pole breakfast. So this is 2 99 It is a gingerbread house treat wall. So it stands up and it's got little wooden dowels and you can hang donuts from it. You can hang one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can hang seven donuts from it. It is now 42 by 40 centimetres. It is so cute. And I know my kids are gonna absolutely love coming in and seeing that on the table stood up with donuts all on it. You know, part of their treat breakfast because we know we can have milkshakes, bad cereals, pancakes of bacon, donuts, what have you. I might even have one of the naughty elves hanging from one of the pegs and then just put the others with donuts. But for 2 dollars they've got really good like shop walls as well and donut walls for weddings. Definitely got to check it out, it's so good. 
and they had these in here as well so i know so many of you would love these this is 99p i can't believe how they've managed to make this for so cheap so it's a chalkboard um but on here it says dear santa and it's got like milestones on it so it will say like my name is i'm so many years old this year i would like and you can tick the naughty and nice bit and you can write down where you live it's got a little hanging chalk on it and a red ribbon and what you can do is have your children take photos so they can be nice dressed have little photos and then they're nice little memories to look back on. You can put this away every year. I only got one because obviously I'll just wipe it off once I've taken the photograph and the kids will each do one. You don't need a million of these, but 99p for this as well. How good is that? These are so lovely, these little quirky bits. I also picked up in there, these make your own advent calendars. Now I'm sure I'm gonna find the receipt for these because I'm definitely gonna be making the price up otherwise. Make your own advent calendar. I don't want to <laughs> make your own advent. $1.99. I thought they were $1.99. I was going to say like free just in case. $1.99. So it comes with 24 card advent boxes, string, pom poms, numbers, stickers, and glue dots. And they are beautiful. They're red and they've got lovely little patterns on them. And you could just put chocolate coins in these, little fidget toys. You know, I just thought for one ninety nine, that is so good. I obviously make my own advent calendars normally every year. I do my brown paper. I will link the video below in the description box if you want to see that because it's like dear, dear like an um, alternative advent calendar ideas I done last year. Um, but I just thought, how cute is that for one ninety nine? It saves all the effort. It's card. It can be recycled after. They look really cute, and you just pop your own little treats in them. So what that as well. And then as well, we are going to be hanging some chocolate candies from the tree on the middle of the table <laughs> for the same day. We're really going to be sick that evening. We normally are. Um, so these are one, £1.50, I believe. And you've got the chocolate tree decorations. They're hollow chocolate uh, milk tree decorations. And now elves and snowmen. And they are the cutest looking things. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera because it's quite bad lighting because it's just so dark nowadays. It's really dark because obviously it's winter now. Um, is it? It's autumn now. Technically it's Christmas, so I'm like, it's winter now. So the lighting's really bad, but these are like the most beautiful greens and reds. They're not like as dull as they look there. They're really, really nice and bright. I also got I think these were a pound, so were these. I've got some marshmallows for the hot chocolate. So we've got a packet of Rudolph noses. You could even like get loads of these and just pop them in your little gingerbread house ready for hot chocolate on your hot chocolate station. And I also got these, you get a packet of six and these are snowman marshmallow toppers. So they're like little marshmallow heads, but when you put them on the hot chocolate, they look like that. How lovely are they? And they're like, you get 99 grams, they're the sugar coated ones. They just make things really, really cute. Like I know if I went to someone's house and they give me a hot chocolate and have a little snowman on it like that. I don't know what I'd think. I'd be like, oh my God, this is the most Christmassy house ever. Son of a nutcracker. I'd be like, that is amazing. So I only see the snowman design. I'm pretty sure they probably wouldn't do a Rudolph or something because then it'd be brown, wouldn't it? And it'd probably blend in too much, but he looks like he's melted. It's so cute. So I've got them as well. And we also got some little decorations for the children's rooms. So Alfie's really into space. He doesn't stop telling us facts on space. So these are like, they vary the price of the decorations. These two were £1.49. And like the little retro ro um, robot, little retro rocket. Very similar to the ones that you would get in John Lewis in the cute little like quirky sections that are like £6 for decoration. These are like shatterproof plastic, so they're not made from glass or anything, but they're gonna look really cute on their tree. And then Millie wanted these ones, so these were also 149 each. So she's got the little pastel macaroons that are covered in glitter. And she also got the, the typical Christmas tree car. So you've got the Christmas tree on top of the car, but the car is in like this really beautiful pink, like glittery pink. It's got like a champagne gold Christmas tree. It's all snow tipped on it. So she wants them to go on her tree. I've got some crafty bits too. So I also got some like little pom-poms because I've got a craft coming up that's going to be using these 
These were 99p. They have so many lovely little craft bits in there. Definitely go check it out. They actually had in there, it was 3 dollars and it was make your own gingerbread felt garland, but you have to sew it and it comes with all the fabric, all the stuffing, the needles, really, really good. But because I'm not gonna be have time now with Baby Al, but I'm not gonna be making it, so I thought there's not much point buying it. A bit wasteful, but definitely go in there down the craft section. I've got some beautiful, beautiful bits in there. I couldn't leave Bertie out, so for 99p I got him a little reindeer squeaky toy to go in his stocking. I won't squeak it because I get in trouble a lot really because I always squeak his toys that I get for him and it sends my dogs crazy. But for 2 99 I got him a box of dog biscuits and they're cranberry and turkey flavoured. No artificial flavours, they're enriched with vitamins, vitamins and minerals and complimentary pet food for dogs. But just check that tin out. Tell me that doesn't look a bit Sophie Allport or, you know, Jules inspired. $2.99, you can definitely keep the tin after for their treats. And I just thought it was really sweet. So they haven't got Santa on them, but they have got like paw prints and like tartan covers and stuff on them. So that it is Christmassy, but it also isn't. $2.99 is full of treats in there, 500 grams. It's so heavy. So that's a little present for puppy as well. So you can be like four pounds and get a lovely little gift for doggy. As well because I am obviously a firm mum. I'm gonna have to go around the other side because they're so far on the island I can't actually reach them. I've pushed them back too far. Now these are just little chocolate treats that I'm hoping are gonna be gorgeous. So they've got loads of nice food in there but I'm trying to hold off at the minute because I feel like everyone's buying so much food and I really just don't want to be a panic buyer of food. So I just thought I'd pick these two up because these are really cute and I'll probably eat them before Christmas. Well I will eat them before Christmas. I want to try them out before I start giving people them at Christmas. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. They've got these splendid chocolate bombs. So they're rich chocolate sponge with a melting center of chocolate flavored sauce and Belgian chocolate pieces. They are 227 grams. Oh, 199. Look at that. It looks like it's from Waitrose or Marx's. It's lovely packaged. That just looks delicious to me. I'm not, oh, I can't even pretend that I wouldn't eat that on its own because I would with a cup of tea by myself but they've also got the salted caramel one as well. So a rich chocolate sponge, yet again with Belgian chocolate pieces, but it's just different. It's got the melting center of salted caramel in there. Yet again, the same weight, $1.99 in the cupboard. Do you put them in the microwave? I don't even know. To microwave, or you can steam them. One minute in the micro. Lush, that'd be lunch. <laughs> So good. I'm breastfeeding, so I'm like, I need the bit of sugar, it's fine. I'm just gonna have a chocolate bomb for lunch, one for an afternoon snack, maybe one for my dessert for after dinner. So I got them as well. So this has been, I only went and forgot the chocolate stirrers. So I'm just gonna add this bit in here. $1.99 milk chocolate stirrers. Look at these and they're decorated with an elf, a polar bear holding a present and Santa. And you pop them in hot milk and you stir and you make the best hot chocolate ever. How can I not show you these? So I thought I'd pop them in um, because I did actually just do the little, bye, see you later. And then I looked and was like, you forgot the stirrers. So I'm your Rosie Henshaw. Hopefully you enjoyed this haul guys. See you later. <laughs> see you later, but I'm just checking around, making sure there's nothing else. See you later, bye.